few days. So, you know, um, I got in trouble because I was supposed to be, I was supposed to been doing my community service. However, I had so many different things going on, but, um, these past two days I've been doing community service and, um, it's totally different than what I thought it was going to be. Um, the only thing that I don't like about doing community service is that I have to be up very fucking early. However, I have learned so much things these past two days and I have learned things, um, about myself. Um, oh my God, like I have learned things about myself. I don't want to cry, but wow, it was just such an experience today. So yesterday I have learned about veterans and cause I went to a veterans home, like, uh, I, I, after a veterans home of, um, veterans, they're going through stuff and, um, you know, we all celebrate veterans day and, you know, we always be like, thank you to our soldiers, but I don't know anybody that ever went to war. I don't know any veterans. I don't, I don't know anybody that went to Afghanistan and I don't know, or, or any type of war, like the Vietnam war, the Gulf course, uh, the Gulf course war. I don't know anybody that went to war before. Right. So when we celebrate veterans day, we all happy and we all taking our breaks, but I don't personally know anybody that went through that experience. And yesterday I learned so much and i have learned that a lot of veterans they go through so much i mean i watched i read a book uh, a couple of years ago and i kind of have like a glimpse of it but i don't know like they go through so much um and like this country or a lot of countries a lot of countries i'm not gonna just say this country because some countries are even worse they don't like provide the proper service to our veterans or to our 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 ex soldiers and everything like a lot of them um suffer p from PTSD and a lot of them turn to drug abuse because they trying to escape all of the things that they went through and it's crazy because you might see you might see a crackhead or you might see somebody shooting dope in in the in the train and you might just think like oh look at that dope head look at that fiend but that's that's most likely most likely a veteran that is going through so much mental shit and have fought for our country. And because he didn't get the help that he needed, he's in that situation. And it's so crazy to me, like how they just don't give a fuck. Some of them be training for 12 years. Some of them, this is all, this is what they all do. This is the only thing they do. This is what they train for to be a ranger to be in the Navy and they get injured and they come back home and they don't, they don't know how to adjust to society. They don't know how to adjust to society. So they turn to crimes, they turn to drugs because they just not giving them the help. Like, Hey, you like, Hey, like you, you could do this. You could do that. And it's just so sad that it, it, it gets, it hurts me because it's like, wow, these people are really fighting for us. It's fighting for our country. It's fighting for us to be able to be free. It's, it's fighting for us to, to, to live right. And they just don't get the proper service after they get dispatched or after they get hurt. And that really meant something to me. Like, um, it's amazing to, to see that. And then today, today, um, I went to uh, a women's center, a women's center of women that, you know, they just got released from prison. And, like, it just has me, like, in a, an emotional pickle today. Like, today, i just been emotional the whole day because I have heard so many different stories from these women. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things that, like, I noticed that it's, like, no matter what situation you're in or, like, where where it is. Uh, in a point of life, like, it's like, I feel like so many women, we are going through so many things in our little different ways. And it just, it helped me realize today, you know what I realized today? That it's like, you don't have to be in a depression, like you don't have to be depressed to go to therapy or to have conversations with people. Like in 2019 and everything, I was going to therapy because I was very fucking depressed and I don't really talk about it. And now I'm in a better space, but what I didn't notice today is that I do need to speak to people. Like speaking and talking about how I'm feeling, it 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 do makes me feel better. It do open my soul, and I'm so happy that um a lot of these women today they they share their story with me, and it just it just broke my heart, and I it just shows me how strong women are. Like to adapting to society, to picking up the pace right after getting out of jail because they have children and um, 
how much they battled, bottled that emotion in from coming home to just having to pick up the pace without nobody talk, talking to. And it's just, it's just amazing. And I'm, I feel like this community service was really like a blessing in disguise because I just been on my work, work shit, work shit, work shit, mother shit, like work shit, mother shit, home shit, wifey shit. And um, if it wasn't for this community service, I probably would have never like done what I did yesterday and today and what I'm going to continue doing. And I have learned so much and I have, I have like, I don't know, I just opened up so so much and I just feel so good. Like, I feel so good. Like, and